Thomas and Friends is made possible in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you. It was a peaceful day on the island of Sodor, and the steam team was sitting all together at Tidmiff Sheds. You know everyone, I really am quite happy that- Oh, I'm sorry. Were you expecting a normal story? No, this is a duck story. That's why I changed it up. Now then. Now, I know what you may be asking. Duck, my lord. Where is the revolution? You promised it to us last year. Well, I'm sorry to say, my beautiful duck disciples. I have yet to uh, finish the revolution. My forces are still growing in the numbers, and I'm still working on a certain part of my plan. So instead, I find it very important that I need to discuss to you all the events that have happened in the previous year. For it's very important to help us in our future story. Shall we get to it? Thomas and friends, making tracks to great destinations. After my tragic defeat on St. Patrick's Day's attack, things on Sodor changed. I was losing everything I've worked so hard on. The grasp I've had on everyone had broken. I was nothing more than a stepping stone for everyone. Oh, how I can't wait to... No, 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 get a hold of yourself. Uh, I, I, forgive me, I'm getting ahead of myself. I should mention everything that, you know, came after the events of last year. That insubordinate controller, Sir Topham, decided to purchase two new engines weeks after my defeat. The first one of which, her name was Nia. I must say, she is a very clever engine. She's helpful, and because of that, I've grown to hate her. In the few weeks she's managed to be here, she's climbed the ranks and become a member of their precious little steam team. But you know, every change must come with a price. Edward and Henry left the steam team. With them gone, Sir Topham had to fill the void. That's when engine number two came in. You all know her as Rebecca. Honestly, she's just really dumb and clumsy. Now, I believe this whole situation is things to do with gender equality or them being too old. But honestly, that's that's just all I've heard, and honestly, I just don't care. That's not my problem. It's their problem. I'm not a member of the Steam team. Moving on. Another big thing that's been going on is Thomas is beginning a big world adventure. Sir Robert Normby has decided to travel the world, and Sir Topham, being a brilliant man, decided to tell Thomas to go with Sir Robert all around the island to promote Sodor. Like, okay, you're gonna get rid of your most popular engine, the reason people go to Sodor. Yeah, like, that's such a good idea. I remember the last time that happened, fatty. Whatever. So, Thomas and Sir Robert Normby, they're going around the world. And, of course, Nia's going to run his branch line. Now, as I said before when we began, I myself have been growing my army. 
My revenge is coming. My forces are growing. Time's running out, Steam Team. Sodor. Topham. All of you. When I'm through with you, there will be nothing left of your beautiful little island. You will pay for your sins for what you've done to me. You should have surrendered when you've had the chance. Um... What just happened? There'll be no rain.